In the heart of rural Bangladesh, nestled amidst the lush greenery of the countryside, lay a village veiled in mystery. Its name was whispered in hushed tones, Jilmilnagar. Here, among the paddy fields and winding dirt roads, stood a testament to the village's dark past and abandoned pond known as Kal Jeel, the Pond of Death. Once a source of life for the villagers, Kal Jeel had long been shunned and feared. Legends spoke of a curse that had befallen the pond centuries ago, when an innocent soul had been wronged and left to wander its murky depths for eternity. Since then, strange occurrences plagued the village, and those who dared to venture near the pond never returned the same. Among the villagers, there was a man named Rana, a stout-hearted farmer known for his skepticism and unwavering resolve. Despite the warnings and superstitions surrounding Kal Jeel, Rana paid them no heed. To him, the tales of ghosts and curses were nothing but foolishness, concocted to frighten the weak-minded. One fateful evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and cast long shadows across the village, Rana found himself drawn to the abandoned pond. Ignoring the whispers of caution that echoed in his mind, he set out alone, determined to unravel the mysteries that shrouded Kal Jeel. The air was thick with anticipation as Rana approached the edge of the pond. Moonlight danced upon the surface of the water, casting an eerie glow that sent shivers down his spine. Undeterred, he stepped closer, his heart pounding in his chest. Suddenly, the chill swept through the air, and Rana felt a presence watching him from the darkness. His senses heightened, every rustle of the leaves, every ripple in the water, sent a jolt of fear coursing through his veins. But still, he pressed on, driven by a curiosity that bordered on obsession. As he peered into the depths of Kal Jeel, Rana's gaze fell upon a figure emerging from the shadows. It was a woman, her form ethereal and indistinct, drifting towards him with an otherworldly grace. Rana's breath caught in his throat as he beheld her haunting beauty, her eyes pools of darkness that seemed to pierce his very soul. Who are you? he whispered, his voice barely a whisper in the stillness of the night. The woman's lips curved into a spectral smile, her voice a whisper on the breeze. I am the guardian of Kal Jeel, bound to its waters for all eternity. Rana's mind reeled at her words, struggling to comprehend the truth of what stood before him. Could this be the ghost of whom the villagers spoke, the cursed soul condemned to wander the pond's depths? You seek answers, the woman continued, her voice echoing in Rana's mind. But beware, for some truths are better left buried. But Rana would not be dissuaded. With a resolve born of desperation, he pressed the woman for answers, determined to unravel the secrets that lay hidden beneath the surface of Kal Jeel. For hours they spoke, the mysteries of the pond unfolding like a tale spun from the threads of legend and lore. Rana learned of the curse that had befallen the woman in life, a tragedy born of jealousy and betrayal that had left her soul bound to the pond for eternity. But as dawn broke on the horizon and the first light of morning pierced the darkness, Rana's heart grew heavy with dread. For he knew that his time at Kal Jeel was at an end, and that he must return to the village with the knowledge he had gleaned. As he turned to leave, a hand grasped his own, its touch cold and insubstantial. Promise me, the woman whispered, her voice a mere echo in the wind. Promise me that you will not speak of what you have seen here this night. Rana hesitated, torn between his desire for truth and the weight of the woman's words. But in the end, he knew that some secrets were too dangerous to be revealed. I promise, he whispered, his voice barely audible above the rustle of the leaves. And with that, he turned away, leaving behind the mysteries of Kal Jeel to be forgotten once more. But as Rana made his way back to the village, he could not shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at his soul. For he knew that the ghost of Kal Jeel would forever haunt his dreams, a reminder of the darkness that lurked beneath the surface of the world. And though he may never speak of the horrors he had witnessed, he would carry the weight of their truth with him until the end of his days.